A fleet of around a dozen Chinese military aircraft yesterday morning flew over strategically important waterways near Taiwan and Japan and proceeded to circle Taiwan. While the aircraft remained outside Taiwan's air defense identification zone, fighter jets from both Taiwan and Japan scrambled to the air to conduct patrols. Taiwan's defense minister Feng Shikuan personally directed operations from Hengshan Military Command Center. Meanwhile, DPP lawmaker Luo Zhizhen says he fears that in the future, such flyovers may become commonplace. Within the last two weeks, China has twice sent a fleet of military aircraft to fly around the perimeter of Taiwan. This time the fleet flew from north to south in a clockwise direction, according to information released by the Ministry of National Defence. Our Minister Feng has gone to the Hengshan Military Command Centre and is personally directing operations with a full understanding of the situation. China's fleet of over 10 military aircraft included ones with electronic surveillance equipment. In addition to monitoring the nation's airspace, Taiwan's F-16 and IDF fighter jets set off on patrols from eight bases across the island in response. We think that in future such Chinese exercises may become routine. The target of these exercises is not necessarily Taiwan. China wants to break through the first island chain and second island chain. The intent behind this strategy is very clear. In order to strengthen the nation's air defences on the eastern side of Taiwan, given that the jets are flying around the entire island, the Ministry of Defence has deployed Skybo-2 and Skybo-3 surface-to-air anti-ballistic missile systems.